Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. Five habits that have made me healthier and also happier since my 20s. Now many of you may not be aware of this, I've talked about it occasionally before, but I haven't always been the way I am now. That shouldn't really be a surprise, everybody changes with time and changes their habits. But there was a time, looking back in my 20s and also as a teenager, where I fell into some pretty bad habits. I was eating the wrong food, a lot of junk food, I wasn't really exercising regularly, I started to put on weight, and I wasn't my best self. I was sluggish, and I wasn't doing as well as I should have in many realms of life. So I wouldn't say it was all terrible, I was very committed to my education from a young age. I have my parents to thank for that. But looking back, I really think I would have done a lot better in so many different realms of life. And of course, everybody is on their own health journey, and I've been on my own health journey. But I really do believe that I'm a lot healthier and also happier now as a result of my health journey. I feel physically and mentally stronger. So let me share with you five habits in particular that have helped me. Here we go. Number one, I strived to eliminate ultra-processed foods and sugars. With time, I became aware of the horrendous pro-inflammatory nature of so many foods that we eat, and I cut back drastically on foods which are in packages, which come from factories, which have a list of ingredients, many of which you don't recognize. And I cut these foods out, I also cut back drastically on sugars, and I switched to a more pure, whole, real food diet. And I would say, as a result, I'm much more physically stronger, and also mentally clearer as well. Number two, I have made exercise a no-excuses priority in my life. I must exercise every single day. Looking back to when I was in school, when I was in medical residency training, I hardly ever exercised, and I really regret that. I did okay, I suppose, on a superficial level, education-wise, but I think I would have done even better if I regularly exercised, because there are so many physical and mental benefits to exercising. I have a one-hour-a-day rule. Many people may find this unbelievable, but it's only 4% off your day, and I find it very relaxing. I'll often be listening to my favorite podcast, or I'll be listening to music, and I will work out, and I'll do a mix of activities, cardio, muscle strengthening. Over the years, I do a lot more muscle strengthening with weights, and I find it has really helped me. I feel physically and mentally stronger as a result of exercising regularly. And when I'm on vacation, I often end up exercising even more. I will only ever go to a hotel or a resort if it has a gym in it, and I don't consider it a chore by any stretch of the imagination. I enjoy exercising, and that's because it's become a part of my routine. Number three, having a calmer mind. Looking back at the things that used to trouble me, I think, why on earth did I worry about those things? Obviously, a lot of this wisdom comes with age as well. And I've studied a lot of different philosophies, but I would say Stoicism is a philosophy that has really helped me and resonated with me as well. Learn to distinguish between those things that are in your control and not in your control. Don't waste time on unnecessary things. Make the best out of any situation. Be in the best company. Don't be with bad friends who drag you down. Only be with the best people and around positive energy. Throw in some meditation as well. Anything that you can do to help manage stress and keep a calmer mind. Number four, understand the realities of the world, the harsh realities of the world. Too many people, especially at a younger age, have an idealistic view of life and unrealistic expectations. But the reality is, the world revolves in a certain way. People behave in a certain way. That's always been the case. History doesn't always repeat itself, but it does rhyme. You take a group of people, put them in a certain situation, and how they will behave is very predictable. Most people respond emotionally to situations and not logically. And remember, our whole modern mainstream culture is set up to take advantage of that. You look at the mainstream media, which you would be better off completely ignoring, because the majority of the mainstream media just wants to profit off people's emotional knee-jerk reactions. You will be better placed for success in any realm of life if you learn to take a step back. Recognize these patterns, how the world works. This applies to so many different things, from individual people, to organizations, to whole countries, to financial systems. They behave in very predictable ways after a certain time. Learn to recognize these patterns, 
Understand that you can't control things, but you can only do your best yourself in any given situation. Focus on yourself and don't try to change the harsh realities of the world. You will be better placed for success in any realm of life, whether it's health, personal goals, financial goals even, if you understand the realities of the world and how systems work. Number five, sleep. Prioritizing sleep. Sleep is ever so important. What difference a good night's sleep makes the next day? And unfortunately, the statistics suggest that the majority of people don't get enough regular sleep. Looking back to the time when I was in school, when I was in residency training, I regularly didn't sleep enough. A lot of that was the fact that I was doing residency training and we used to do 30 hour on calls, which may have been good for learning. We used to learn a lot, but it's unsustainable over the long term and not particularly good for our health. Nowadays, I make sleep a priority. Now, I can't promise that I always get six to eight hours sleep every single night. That's the sweet spot for most people. But if I know I haven't slept well for a night or two, then I make it a priority to get a good night's sleep the next night. Because sleep is when your body regenerates and heals, and we all need to be having regular sleep. So those are five habits then, which I believe have made me a lot healthier, happier, and physically and mentally stronger now than I was in my 20s and as a teenager. Hopefully you can do some of those as well. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out my online academy. That link is also down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will speak again very soon.